My name is David Olson, and I'm a local realtor with the TwinCitiesPropertyFinder.com team. I work and live here in the city of Chaska, and as a way to provide more insight about our community, I've put together some short videos about our city. Today's episode gives a brief history of the city of Chaska, so feel free to share this with anyone you know who might be thinking of selling or buying a home in our community. The recording of Chaska's history began in 1769. Though several markers indicate that the area was inhabited before this time, the city's name comes from the word Shasta, which is derived from a Dakota name often given to a firstborn son. The first inhabitants of what is now the city of Chaska are believed to be Native Americans, called the Mound Builders, whose ancient communities are known by various styles of earth mounds built for ceremonial, religious, elite, and burial purposes. The mounds in Chaska City Square are reminiscent of this practice. Later on, the Dakota Indians, once known as the Sioux Indians, moved into this region that was referred to at the time as Big Woods. Jonathan Carver was exploring the area along the Minnesota River in 1776 and recorded his explorations. Much trading took place in the river valley during this time, especially between French-Canadian fur traders and the Dakota. Eventually, a trading post was established in Chaska, and by 1851, the area was opened to settlement through the Treaty of Traverse des Sioux, and was known as Little Rapids. Thomas Andrew Holmes joined the group of speculators that moved to the area and claimed a 20-acre opening as the town site, and was later mapped by the Shaska Company in 1857. The construction of the original Carver County Courthouse began the same year and was located where the First National Bank and Post Office is today. In 1871, Chaska was incorporated as a village and then finally became a city in 1891. Brick making began in 1857 due to an abundance of high quality clay in the area. Chaska became a prosperous brick manufacturing center and shipped bricks by boat to St. Paul. The city developed quickly as a result of this brick making along with steamboat trade and the Minneapolis and St. Louis Railroad. Other industries thrived during this time, such as flour making, butter making, vegetable canning, processing of beet sugar, and other agricultural products, and the curing of pickles and sauerkraut. Chaska's population averaged around 2,000 and remained relatively unchanged through the first half of the 20th century. Chaska remained a small town until the 1950s and 60s when the seven county metropolitan area reached Chaska. The Jonathan Newtown design was quickly introduced and it brought new land, jobs, and people to the area. The city is still expanding and growing today. Many modern industries have moved to Chaska and they continue to do so. The population is booming as a result of the residential construction, adding hundreds of new homes per year. Commercial businesses continue to pop up, providing retail and service opportunities to residents. And despite all this change and progress, Sensible development regulations and careful planning have preserved the sense of community and rich heritage, allowing Chaska to exist as both a small town and modern city. If you'd like more information about the city of Chaska or are interested in selling or buying a home in the area, feel free to stop by my website at davidolsonrealestate.com or call me direct at 952-314-9446 and I'll make sure to take great care of you. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.